services services like communication services data management services journal control storage terminal control etc your program <coughs> your kicks program can be either conversation conversational if you want to execute an online program you have to log on to kicks region and enter the transaction code and transaction code will be four digits for example let me log on to kicks region i'll execute some ex existing programs which is there in the system how to log on to cics region Yes, 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 one. Yes, yes, one. User ID and password. Okay. It should not disturb the. I mean, don't use mouse and don't disturb the cursor. Okay, don't disturb the cursor. If you want to execute any online program, we have to write the four-digit transaction code at the top left corner. Okay. for executing a batch program it's really tough you have to write a jcl and, ex and execute using submit command for writing execute online program is much easier every program will have a transaction code it could be a non mean conversational or non conversational program just write transaction code here say what i'll write b001 let me write ga01 Okay. Just hold on. See, monthly transaction G star. G zero twenty one. See. so this is how transaction works you understand <clears throat> in olden days in up till 80s this was the only option okay in banks any tech any uh, business and when new technology came into existence this was used only in back office but in some many companies in in uh, all the companies they switch to new technology only for screens not in the back end the back end software still remains in mainframe that is the reason we are having five mainframe branches simultaneously so there are plenty of engin engineers work working across the globe especially in us because most of the world's data centers in us headquarters is in us and many mainframe engineers are in us okay they are equivalent to java engineers in us so here anyway somebody would have created this or probably my team also i'm not sure it didn't work but this is how you have to execute just at the top left corner you have to write a transaction code so every program will have a transaction code here here are since in in this training mainframe administrators has, have created some transaction codes for us okay so we, we can use only those program names those transaction codes so i'll, I'll give the details even I, i can be an administrator here i have administrative access i can also give define transactions it's not a big deal very easy so this is something how to execute a kicks program but today we are not going to execute any cics program today we are going to focus on creating a screen Okay, creating a screen is very very easy. So I'll tell you how to create a screen after the break. Before the break, we'll just come up, I mean, com complete some concepts. And here there are few more, couple of more concepts which will be com coming as part of uh, CACS. One is multitasking. So what is multitasking? Doing the multiple tasks at a time. 
executing multiple tasks at the same time. Okay, e executing a transaction is called a task. Okay, Ex executing a transaction is called a task. So there are multiple tasks are running at the same time. That's why Kix is a multitasking environment. Okay. Each, for example, uh, sending a screen to the user is a task. Receiving an user is going to input data. Receiving a screen is also with data also is a task. So there are plenty of tasks going on simultaneously. That's why Kix is called a multitasking environment. So what is what is multi-programming then? This we have seen long time back. Executing single program multiple times. That's good. Executing single program more than once is called multi-programming. How multi-programming works? I'll tell you. We have program, program A. So user A, user B. So when user A, and what happens? Only one load model will be in the system. Okay, we are not going to create, if thousand users are going to execute the same program, it doesn't mean we are going to have 1000 load modules. So in olden days, for example, say in banking, say Bank of America, they are only mainframe in 80s. So when you uh, thousands of people are working simultaneously in office, in real time office in, in day to day life. So they log on to kicks and they enter transaction code. Everyone are going to enter the same transaction code and it will be main menu. From the main menu, they'll be moving on to sub menus. Because everyone will be in different department, they choose the department and then move and then do the transaction one by one. So what happens here, everyone are executing same program. If 1000 users mean we, can, we are not going to have 1000 load modules. It's going to be only single load module. But how it works, it is going to have something called thread. We, we, are, we are going to call it a thread. So each program is going to run a thread in a load module. That's why it is going to differentiate the execution of different pro different users. And storage is going to be different. Yes, yeah, storage is going to be different. Here also different address. Okay, it could be a working storage or linkage section. Storage is going to be different and both are going to have a different thread running in the program. So that's why it's called multi-program. So these are some concepts that you have to learn as a part of CACS. Transaction, transaction code. So an online program can be a conversational program or a non-conversational program. For any online program, there will be a transaction code attached to it. There will be one, I mean, one transaction code for one program. Sometimes there can be more than one, I mean, uh, more than one transaction code can be attached to our program. That I'll tell you later because there are those, those are advanced concepts. So now you have to understand one program, one transaction code, and transaction code is four digits. If you want to execute an online program, type this transaction code on the top left corner in Kix region. If it's a conversational program, it is going to show the screen. If it is non-conversational program, it is going to execute the program and show the output based on the program, how it is written. And executing an online program is called a transaction. And every part in a program is called a task. For example, sending a screen is a task, storing data is a task, and receiving data is a task. And since there are multiple tasks running at the same time, we call Kix as a multitasking environment. And since same program is shared by many plenty of people, each program, each user is going to run a thread in the program load module. And that's why we call Kix as a multi-programming, Kix support multi-programming. Like how Gmail supports multi-programming, Kix supports multi-programming. WhatsApp doesn't support multi-programming. That's why we cannot have more than one account in same phone. So these are some concepts you have to know as a part of CACS. Is there any doubts till now?
so here as well as kicks environment so under which application programs are running we have something called kicks system programs and kicks tables so we have two components under kicks environment one is kicks system programs kicks tables so these both together is going to help you to execute the uh, execute an application program okay for example we have a table called program control table we have a table called program processing table we have control table called storage control table okay we are going to we are i mean we are uh, have going to have a table table called terminal control table so these are some tables which are inbuilt in kicks environment <coughs> if a program has to be executed here in this kicks environment your program should be ha should have an entry in this table okay we have a table program should have an entry for example your program is g01 pgm1 it should have a entry in pcd similarly i mean for example g01 pgm1 is associated to g011 transaction code it should have an entry in pcd similar g0 p1 pg1 should be written in should have an entry in ppt table also i'll explain this this storage control table terminal control table all terminals you can define here unless and otherwise it is defined here you cannot or you are not authorized to use those programs in kicks environment for example here in this training mainframe all these definitions have been done by administrator even in projects also it is done by administrators programmers will don't have access will never do this in any project then java also but kicks uh, we are not going to use right java kicks java kicks program but there are a lot of java servers which interact with mainframe when they interact with mainframe they use mq services so we have something called two uh, apart from the mq we have something called message broker what message broker does it's like a postmaster receive and send data okay they are they act as an interface between different te technology and different hardware so this is something which i, I mean wrote earlier okay we have a so this is ibm mainframe you can these together called ibm mainframe so initially we had a client this is called a server model this is called a server we are going to have clients so we can have we had as, as many clients and we connected through cables manual then we had lan and wan so lan stands for local area network wan stands for wide area network okay then we had internet so in, in internet we used emulation software like moca moca is an emulation software now many screens have been i mean now we are using the same way but as far as screens are concerned we are using new technology okay in some companies old screens are still there and in many companies the screens are there only for customer use not for customer use only for business use so this is something called with architecture okay there is something called architecture so if you take uh, say mean uh, architecture in olden days architecture was not paid attention okay then we started paying attention to architecture so what they have we had we have i'll tell about some three tier architecture we have data layer data layer means storage vsam db2 idms or ims or any oracle data layer then business logic layer and then we have presentation layer so presentation means screens business means core logic okay core logic and then data layer means storage so we call this as a three tier architecture there are even four tier architecture also so nowadays come in world is focusing on architecture because if you write programs based on architecture 
it is going to be working properly for example if you write one kicks program say which is going to have presentation business and data everything together we are including everything in old and days this is how they wrote one program is going to show the screen process the data main logic will be there process data store data all the commands will be in the same program okay there there is no architecture now what they did they broke down into three programs one program is going to dedicate only for receiving and sending the screen to the user and doing some basic editing once they do the basic editing they send data to another program so instead of one program they broke into three programs that's all it's not a big deal okay let, let me tell I mean, right in old and days suppose there is no architecture we we consider program p it contains presentation layer the main logic and data storage data storage means insert into table okay update from ta- update into table update table select from table all these are data storage commands logic is many logic yesterday we did see so evaluate right? evaluate claims log so evaluate condition or computing all these are core logic presentation means checking whether the input is valid if it is alphabetic if it is numeric all these are presentation okay in presentation layer they get the data check where data is valid validation is done in presentation layer in logic layer entire main logic is happening there and in data layer the data storage and retrieval is happening there suppose you write a program which doesn't have any proper architecture in another another way we are breaking the program into three where this program is just presentation layer this is logic and this is data layer so p1 p2 p3 so this is three tier architecture the main i uh, problem main main idea is suppose if you have want any change in the program the program is big say 10000 lines and only one person can write work on the program and this program has lot of functionality if they change any small thing they have to test entire program for all the I mean test cases okay suppose they do any ch- small change in presentation layer they they are going to change the entire program I mean they, 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 we are assuming entire program has to be tested it has to be set up, tested before going to production and only one person can develop suppose changes are more again one person can develop but here if changes are more there are small, small changes in presentation and logic two people are can work together parallelly so it is, it is going to be much quicker so maintenance wise architectural concept is better because it, we are going to have easy maintenance okay the development effort maintenance effort testing effort everything comes down even if there's any bug also identifying a bug in 10000 lines is tougher when compared to identifying bug in 2000 lines something like this okay, that's what is depicted here no so we had so this is what say we are going to run a write a program we are going to write a kicks program tomorrow okay where it is going to have presentation logic and business logic the presentation logic is done using bms bms stands for basic mapping support we are going to use bms today and business logic this so any business logic means any editing validation any computation is a business logic so tomorrow we are going to write both these logic together okay the, that's what done in old and days then in the new uh, new day I mean latest generation we are using going to architecture so it's going to be much easier to maintain so we had a client server model then we had say web application we used a uh, internet protocols then we we used mq series also mq series to connect across hardware something like this okay we here so when kicks is used with alternate user interface the front end program provides presentation logic but the kicks application is still the back end program that provides business logic many companies across the globe are still having not many plenty of company having kicks programs they haven't retired kicks program it's a very complex to retire also and it works very very efficiently so no one is wants to retire okay remember 
Oracle came into existence before DB2. But still, DB2 was a hit in 80s and 90s. So it is used in a huge number. Don't think DB2 is not. It's used in huge number across many companies across the globe. I mean, all old corporates, big corporates are using DB2 a lot. Kicks again, it's used sparingly, only in business office. So here, what is multitasking? If we saw earlier, can anyone read? Can anyone who can see how multitasking works? CICS address space task one, order entry program user one, task two. Okay, that task you just read uh, three lines. Okay, sir. A task is the execution of an. Okay, a task is the execution of an application program for a specific user. Within CICS, two or more tasks can execute at the same time using a CICS feature using multi called multitasking. CICS handles multitasking internally within its own address space. Okay, yeah, that's good. So we are going to have a CICS is going to run in address space because everything is address. Okay, as far as the hardware is concerned, unless you have address, I cannot find Niroj in Odisha. You know, without our address, how can I come? Address and contact details are the required. So the task is an execution of application program for specific user. Okay, every small uh, thing in a program is called a task. So, so we have multi-threading. Go, go ahead. Read this also. With multi-threading, two or more users can access the same copy of a program at the same time. TACS accomplishes this by providing a separate copy of working storage for each user running. That's called ups. Running the program. Running the program. So we have thread. Yes, I mean, uh, we can have multiple threads. If thousand users are going to use the same program, it doesn't mean thousand load modules. Single load module, each one is going to have separate thread, separate working storage area. So that's how system works. So these all these are some concepts which people should know. And it's part of CACS, we should definitely know. It's in curriculum. So these are something which um, I'll tell you about how it works. I'll tell you later. So here, Kix services are available to application program th through its application programming interface. Okay, we you would have heard about API, Kix API, right? Nowadays, everything is API. So if you just need API, you can store that in your any, any machine. For example, for I mean for uh, sending a SMS, company a new company need not write the application. The application is already present. Okay, it it's in some hardware. You can just rent it out, and we can send data and receive data. And what they do, they provide an interface that's called application programming interface. It's a very common term used nowadays very frequently because there are many machines interacting, talking with each other. So if you have bank, bank is not going to develop software to send a message when the money is credited. But sending a message, the bulk SMS, all these are provided by bulk SMS provider. There are some software companies which provide API. So they they give the I mean exe file to their client, or they keep it in the own hardware. Okay, they they just receive the message from HDFC bank and send I mean send the message to user. So they have some set of programs. So all these are being being I mean even Kix is providing actually Kix is initial I mean whatever APIs we have now or just evolution or another way of doing an interface like what Kix used to do very old I mean old days since 80s. So Kix services are available to an application program through its application programming interface. So we have so it provides data management and other communication services. Okay, again, OS, ZOS. See here, I, I wrote like this, okay. Hardware, ZOS, and Kicks. But here, it has written in this way. So hardware is outer. On top of it, we have ZOS or OS 390, on top of it we have Kicks. 
So Kix is going to provide services like a programming interface, basing mapping support, and terminal control services. All these are going to be provided. Okay, this is something you are going to run. So we are going to have OS, OS under which Kix is going to run. A program is going to run. Application programs are going to run. And so application program, if they want to access files, VZAM file, they have something called file control, which is going to provide the service. I told you we have program, we have some system programs. So Kix system programs provide file control operations to access VZAM files. They are going to provide SQL operations to provide DB2 support. They are going to provide DLI operation to provide IMS to retrieve data from IMS database. The IMS is another type of database. So here it's not SQL operation. It used to call us DB2 transaction. All these are some concepts. But you have to know, you have to know this. A Kix environment is going to contain Kix system programs and Kix control tables. That's enough. Here most of the things are repeated. So these are some control programs. So you have something called program control program. So what does program control program does? It provides for calling or transferring control to another programs. So we have a program. So we don't write all entire logic in one program. We'll have split into small, small programs. For example, main menu is one program. Sub menu is another program. So within sub menu, if you have another sub menu, another program. So it just jumps from one program to another. So this is how we write programs in Kix environment. Okay, all these services are provided by program control program. These are system programs. All these are just theory. Okay, for sake of knowing, you have to know. It provides for calling or transferring control to other programs. Calling and transferring control. So temporary storage control. So we have something called scratch pad, like uh, how, how we have a st temporary storage and working storage, we can have a scratch pad that's called TSQ. Okay, we can we can, and we can use a, use scratch pad for writing data and retrieving data. Because if you are getting data once from a database or a VZAM file, we should not get it again. There is no point of getting. If you get it again and again, the amount of IOs are going to be increased and system performance is going to be low. So as far as online is concerned, performance is must. Okay, people don't have any patience. They want everything to happen immediately. So we cannot use, we need better performing applications. So TSQ is something like a scratch pad. Okay, scratch pad, I, I don't know whether I'll be able to teach TSQ with four or five days time. Okay, you have to just know what is TSQ and probably I'll tell you later. I'm planning to put some YouTube videos also on TSQ, then I'll let you know. So TSQ is like a scratch pad. For example, if you're browsing, say suppose you're going to internet, you're go going to internet banking. If you want to see a statement, so how do you see a statement? You can give a range, right? Yes. If, it, if, if, you give, if you give a range of uh, dates, it is going to show the statement. So where the data is present, data is present in database. It is going to retrieve and show you. So how many pages it is going to show? Multiple pages, right? Based on how much you are selecting. Suppose if you go to next page, what happens? It is going to give fresh data, which is required for next page. Suppose if you are going to previous page, again, again it, it, is not, it should not go to mean database and bring the data again because already it has brought once right those kind of data will be showed in, stored in scratch pad okay because once you read from database if you read again and again the system mean is going to be overburdened and the I mean efficiency is going to be low performance will be down so once you read, read a record what you do you have to store in working storage somewhere and again te temporary storage is a working storage it's like a scratch pad. Okay, it is going to be like a say bucket, take a bucket where we store water. Something like this. It's easy to use. Okay, it's easy to use, but we don't have much time to deal on that. 
but these are the places where tsqs are used See, like how we have tsq we have similar concept in all technologies in online programming where you have a list of data if you are going to get list of data users can navigate in any, any manner so once you got the information we store in a storage working with work, temporary storage so if, even if user comes back and access the old storage we can get from I mean the working storage very easily when compared to reading from database again so that is going to save a lot of time so the un efficiency wise it's very good because these are some concepts you have to know so we, all these are you, you'll know only if you start writing online programs even writing a program with tsq is also easy okay if you have uh, kicks for 8 days we can do it probably kicks was i mean not focused so program control program is going to provide services for scaling and transferring the control temporary storage control program is going to provide provide storing data outside the working storage in simple files called temporary storage queues it is also a working working storage means it's not working storage section temporary storage is also a temporary storage and we have some permanent storage also okay we so these are used only for scrolling scrolling logic scrolling logic is out of scope of this training and it is little difficult even for seniors also little difficult but it's not tough like it's not tough people think it's tough because primarily all these kicks everything is i mean the origin of software is from foreign countries okay most uh, in fact uh, i don't know how many software has developed here i don't see any software developed here it's all the software like operating system programming language data storage concepts everything is coming from foreign countries okay we, we are just using so the core knowledge is lying there that's the reason many people don't know all these in india and people think it's tough so it's not that tough so we have something called interval control program so interval control program provides date date service or time related services it provides time related services including current date and current time so here in kicks programming we cannot use accept command accept display open close closing of files these are these cannot be given so instead kicks is providing you to use interval control services to get date and time so we used to get date and time through accept command right so here we are going to use some other command it's very easy that's a easy command if you write it is going to work and as far as open is and close is concerned when system is up file all files are already opened and same vzam files and database can be used by plenty of people parallel so you need not open and close only in batch we open process and close the files in online region file is opened in the morning and everyone can read insert write read write rewrite and delete using the program and finally in the evening it is closed only one time open one time close as far as batch program is concerned open process close everything is in the same program so all these are some concepts you have to know so we have storage control program so it provides for allocating main storage space outside working storage so this is we not worry about this there is something called task control program so the for all your task that will be task id every task you are submitting in kicks will be having task id it is controlled by task control program so these are some control programs as a concept you have to know these are present okay just you have to know these are present and the tables you have to know these are present we have something called dump control program can you can you guess what is dump control program just hold on can you guess what is dump control dump control program what is what it is going to provide see what when you when you executed a program you would have seen ce dump do you remember 
when job abandon in batch so these are some dumb provider and we had a in sysol we had message flow of control goes outside the program so all these so it, these are some dumb dumb program okay dumb control program so dumb control means when a program abandons or here in batch it provides a dump the dump of system messages and these messages are going to be used for giving the resolution similarly in online when the transaction abandons so here is a transaction here is a bad job so here when the transaction abandons it is going to provide us some dump of messages from the dump of messages we will know what has happened in the transaction and we are going to correct and proceed so pro so these dumps are being handled by dump control program so here something called trace control program so what does trace control program does suppose here in online as you as i said all programs are small small programs okay even there will be programs for 100 lines also so small small programs what it does it just send receive data do some processing send it to another program again receive send and do it give it to another program so we, we are going to have a trace okay from pgma it goes to pgmb pgmb to pgmc and so on and come, coming back from pgmd to pgme something like this so we have we are going to the program and data is going to be jump jump data is going to be jumping from one program to another program because every program is going to done do some small function okay and these are going we are going to have a, a trace we are going to have we are going to trace the sequence of operation and these trace of sequence of operation is done by trace control program so these are some system programs available in kicks as a part of kick services they are going to handle provide some specific functionality journal control program pavan what is journal control program so i already told you pavan are there or sanjeeva log file log file that's good log file that's all log file what does log file contain can you guess i already told you log file is going to contain some important fields like what sanjeev are you there yes sir so log file is going to contain what data log isolation it is not log log so messages sir log what is the log log or record log record if you transaction that's what transaction details like transaction after before date time stamp user id who is the culprit who changed the salary from 50000 to zero okay i uh, mean before image after image something like this okay like this so transaction date before image after image what is going to be why why we need log file what are the use of log file what are the use of log file we all discussed this earlier to store the information of the okay but we were just storing it's not going to be to used create the catalog of okay what 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 about what are the use whenever we do the update and delete when you do update delete what we will get physical to changes so you are not concentrating what are the use of log file we already discussed in detail allowing only one user sir what allowing one user to delete it uh, specific time that is log that is the data logs this is log log means what it's going to just monitor the changes happening in the system harindra what is log
Niroj, Manasan, Neha, what is the log? When you when are going to, have you gone to office? You have not gone to office, right? Still, you haven't. You are in virtual mode. It records the events. It records the events. That's correct. Why why it records the events? What are the use? So when you go to office, how how are they going to track your attendance? Log in and log out time. Log in, log out time. So what is what what it is going to do? It's going to log the data. And in olden days, log in, log out track it, it was manual. Okay, they wrote in notebook. Then they went into log out, log in, log out time through software. Now nowadays, how it is logged? Scanning ID. Scanning ID. Swipe and swipe, swiping your ID card. Yes. Or swiping your even we we are having fingerprint access. Okay, even retina access. All these are logging. Okay. What? Okay. In in the. Okay, I'll ask one question. In banks, what are these are log files? Here, swipe record logging is for monitoring your attendance, identifying when you have taken leave, how much time you have spent every day. Whether we need to follow, I mean, process the full day salary or half day salary. If you have, if you have stayed for three three hours a day, then they assume you have stayed only for half a day. So you are automatically your half day salary will be deducted from your salary. You understand? Even if you haven't applied leave also. So you should not think you are smarter. Okay. What are Indra? Some people will say what they will do. They will swipe it, swipe in, swipe in, and then go home. Evening they will come and swipe out. Right? Yes, sir. <laughs> there, assume the program is going to be not end time minus in time. If program is going to be how much time you are inside. Then it's going to be. It's going to. I mean, the program is going to be different. I mean, it, it is find out that you are doing mischievous thing. But anyway, log file. So I already told you last week. If you are going to do a commit and rollback, it is going to use log files. When you do commit, it is going to delete all the routes. When you do a rollback, it is going to rollback based on the record in log files. You are you are debiting five thousand rupees cash. It got stuck. So initially, immediately you got a message. It got credited back, right? Even in online transaction, it's happening. Fund transfer from here to there. Buying an Amazon, payment failed. Payment credited back. Everything. Why? How it happened? Someone is going to look manually or what? But Anindra, someone is going to look manually. Okay, Harindra's five thousand got debited, but he he does not money has not gone to him. So even though he's mischievous, he's a very nice guy. Let's give it back. Someone is going to add add to it or what? No, sir, it's automatic. Everything is automatic. Okay, I told already. Everything is automatic. Matic automated go based on log files. When the something is committed, it is going to remove data from log files. When th- something is not committed and transaction fails, it has to roll back all the updates based on the before image. And we have something called transient data control program, which is similar to TSQ. I am not going to tell what is T- transient data control program. It's also another concept. It will take more than half a, half a day. So I'll come back here. Kick environment is going to provide kick services. Kick services are being provided based on by using kick system programs and kick control tables. In control tables, we should we should we should define the entries like program entries, transaction code entries, etc. I told I showed the Excel sheet right the gamma credentials. All the entries are already been done in kick storage services and linkage services. And there are t- temporary storage control program, which is going to provide services like TSQ services, which is used for scrolling logic, interval control program like date and time logic. Not only date and time logic, we can schedule the transaction to run at specified time. There are plenty of things we can do. Okay, and it is being done even nowadays. 
Only screens are not there, but Kix programs are running. Non-conversion programs like Kix APIs are running plenty in all the companies. If you take any mainframe company, definitely there will be Kix or IMS DC. One online region will be there for sure. It doesn't mean it's ruled out. But unfortunately, Kix uh, changes are very little, and it is even if it is little, it, it is very complex to change in the sense. I mean, uh, it is going to, going to affect business directly. So these changes are not done at offshore. Okay, it is done only at on-site. That's why people who have exposure only in India, they think Kix is not required. And moreover, when you, even if you go to on-site or not, even if you go to different projects, there are chances you work on online programs. Even after 10 years, 15 years, suppose you're, you're, having, you're, a, you're a manager and you're working on multiple technologies where you work on full stack again online I mean your knowledge on online programming is required and it is definitely going to give an edge and some confidence so we have dump control program which is going to take care of dump control services provide dump control services like when program abends it has to provide a large dump and some reasonable messages so that we can go and see what is the message and try to fix and trace control program is required because that will trace. There are plenty of programs jump here and there, so we need trace. And we have journal control program and transit data control program. 